So boys and girls, today is kind of an exciting day because you're going to be taking the paintings that you did yesterday, the backgrounds, those gorgeous backgrounds you made, and you are going to get to choose if you're going to do one animal or a couple or maybe ones that are different or ones that are the same. But you're going to notice here that I am using a fairly small brush and a very small amount of black paint. Yesterday, you got to plunge your brush into your paint and swirl it around and get your hands in there. Not today. Today is a little bit more delicate. Today is where you are going to be carefully painting these animals. And the reason that you want to be delicate is because you're using black paint for Pete's sake and you're painting on top of something that you made yesterday that's beautiful and you don't want to ruin it and blah blah blah. So you're going to want to take your time and think it through first. In fact, if you wanted to practice first on a piece of paper, I'm sure your counselors would be willing to get a piece of paper for you to practice. But you can see here that I am using the guide to slowly add line after line after line or shape to my uh, little drawing there. Now I'm adding some depth, a little bit of thickness to that sea turtle's um, flippers there. And now as I look down at the guide, I can see I need to make those back flippers a little bit thicker. Now if you look at it and you say, mm, that looks a little skinny, you can always go back and make it bigger. It's totally up to you. Here I am looking at the guide to make the silhouette of a fish. I kind of start off with an eyeball shape or a football. I'm going to take the black paint and do the top fin. I'm going to see that shape down there on the bottom and do the bottom fin. I got this big backward C on the back there. And now I'm going to go ahead and fill in the tail. Now, let's talk. Some of you are going to be very comfortable to just do one of these shapes on your main painting. Some of you are going to say, I want to do three. Some of you are going to say, I want to do every single one. It's totally up to you. You just want to not just dive in, you want to, oh, <laughs> did you see that dive in like the ocean? <laughs> you don't want to just dive in on this beautiful painting. You want to just, you know, think it through a little bit. What's your master plan? If you're only going to do one turtle, it's going to have to be kind of big. You'll notice that I put my turtle just to the left of the white rather than putting it smack dab in the middle. I kind of did that because I wanted the light of the sun to shine through a little bit. So I'm just having it be that my turtle is kind of passing just to the left of it. So now, because I practiced on that other piece of paper, this is going swimmingly. <laughs> and I'm adding the thickness on there. Now, I'll be honest. I think my flippers look really, really large. But I'm not going to cry. I'm not going to freak out. We can always fix it. You're not going to fix it by trying to erase it. I can tell you that right now. And you're not going to solve it by crying. What you are going to do is ask a counselor to help you. And they will try and maybe, you know, scooch a little bit of thing here or scooch a little bit there or clean something up. And it's going to look fantastic if you have a positive attitude. Now, right there, I went and fattened up my little baby turtle there. On the tables are examples. I'd love for you to look at those first as well so that you can have a complete plan for your painting and then go ahead and start. Have fun.